Okay, so now Judy is going to talk about the World Conference in Sicily. Okay, well, I just um, have a few slides, about a dozen slides to put together. Um, so just for, especially for some new people, and even for me, uh, for old, some of the people that have been around for a while, um, I never kind, kind of understood how all these associations work. So just real quickly, um, APT is uh, one of about 16 now associations in this country, okay? And we belong through our dues and whatnot, we belong to the National Federation of Tourist Guides. Uh, so like I said, there's about 16 of us. And then um, because we're part of the National Federation, they pay their dues and whatnot into this World Federation, okay? So um, the National Federation holds their conference every other year. It's gonna be in Philadelphia in 2025. Every other year is the World Federation. Okay, so this was the first uh, time that Philadelphia was ever represented in a world conference. Um, New York had sent people, Washington had sent people, but we never sent people. And when we found out it was in Sicily, a, a lot of us jumped at it because, you know, it's Sicily. So, um, so anyway, so we um, got over there. This, I, 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 tour guides always need to be prepared, correct? Well, I was the most unprepared. Um, I did no research. I just always think that, you know, if you keep your expectations low, you're always gonna, you know, come out on top. So it was a, a really unbelievable um, time for us. Um, Nina went with me um, as well as Karen Sutton and Dave went. Um, we get over and Ed Marie was on Zoom, yes. Um, so there were 48 countries represented. Um, a lot of European countries, but we also um, had some Asian countries there. Um, it was unbelievable, about 300 people. So just imagine carting around 300 people too. Um, <laughs> there was a, uh, we, we flew in, those of us, there was a pre-tour of three days, then the conference was five days, and then there was a post-tour. So of course we did it all. Um, by doing that, we flew into Catania over there on the East Coast, you can see, um, and we spent time around there, and the conference was actually in Syracuse, and then we wound up for the post-tour um, back in Palermo. So surprising to us, for the pre- and post-tour, there were about 150 people that did that as well. So we thought we'd be like one bus. No, it was like lots of buses. So you can go to the next slide. So the pre-tour, we had a lot of UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Um, the first day, this was, uh, that picture on the left was taken from the bus coming in from the airport. And all you, you saw, see Mount Etna everywhere. Um, and Nina and I, for whatever unbelievable stupid reason or whatever, we um, signed up for the active group when we signed up. Well, that meant climbing up Mount Etna. Uh, so uh, this we did it. it well, climbing up was not the hard part. It was climbing down, let me tell you. So um, we did it. Then thank goodness it was the first day because by the 11th day, my knee had given out and everything else. Um, you can see Jim Carr, those of you who know Jim, he was uh, he's the president of the Washington Guild. Uh, so he was there. Uh, so next slide. Um, this um, is the was the theater, the ancient Greek theater. Um, I have... Um, in parentheses there, White Lotus. Anybody watch the HBO White Lotus? <laughs> they, they have a scene where they're sitting there. So we were right there um, and we had lunch up in this magnificent restaurant up there um, overlooking the hotel where they filmed White Lotus. <laughs> it was a pretty amazing and another UNESCO World Heritage Site. So you go. Um, so these are just some of the other places that we went to during the uh, pre-tour, uh, a place called Ferla, um, the Necropolis, uh, Pantelica, and uh, Sortino, where um, Nina drug me to this, uh, no, I shouldn't say, she was in, yeah, she did, uh, this puppet thing, I'm like, puppets, oh, come on, but it was a puppet museum there, and it captivated me, I thought, I hated playing with dolls, I never played with dolls, whatever, but it was pretty cool. Um, and then this cart museum as well. And with every town that we went to, 
the um, mayor greeted us. We met more mayors, five mayors, right? And they have their sash, the, the red, green, and white sash. Um, at one point, we were actually led into town, a police escort. They closed, I am not kidding, they closed the town. It was, they had, they, then we had this reception where they wined and dined us and set balloons off and it was amazing. So, yeah. Um, so again, uh, we, we're all kind of looking a little, little tired there. I know I was. And again, this is like day, what, three? <laughs> Um, but they had a, um, a luncheon, wine tasting and luncheon for us at this um, private, um, uh, you know, whatever, yeah, farm, you know, and or with or and oranges and everything was growing there. It was amazing. Um, olive trees. So, okay, so we finally are here where we're supposed to be at the convention. Um, the opening ceremony was amazing. They had, uh, it was an opera of the Sopranos, very uh, internationally known uh, people. The theater, the, um, the convention was actually in a theater, an opera theater um, that it was, uh, it was quite an event. So um, the actual convention, I mentioned Syracuse, but we were actually, you cross over a little bridge, and you're actually on an island called Artesia. And this was a magical little place. Now, you know, we kind of, I just guess we drew the short straws because we happened to be in the furthest hotel all the way out in Syracuse. So we had a 25 minute walk in every day. Um, but this was, um, you know, the view from um, Artesia. So I have listed up there uh, some of the different things they had. We had um, plenary speakers where they talked um, to the whole group and then we broke out into workshops. Um, so one of the workshops um, that we did was a workshop about roots. This is becoming a more and more um, important or, or interesting uh, kind of tour where people go back to Europe to find their roots. Okay, they did um, a workshop about film tours. Um, and again, this would be about uh, going to locations where um, films have been made. So we could do that right here in Philadelphia. I know there are people who do film tours. Um, we talked about uh, the history of a uh, guy of, of taking these trips, which I found very interesting because we talk about the Grand European Tour with some of the wealthy Philadelphians and about how they went back to Europe. And that all started in the late 1600s, early 1700s, as people got more and more money and they would go and to a lot of these sites over in Europe. Um, what else did we talk about? Oh, over tourism. A uh, big, huge problem, um, especially in Europe. And one of the um, real sad things that we learned was places like Rome and Venice, uh, people have moved out. Um, these Airbnbs have taken over um, and people have found that it's much cheaper for them to, to rent out their places um, to tourists and leave these places and live elsewhere out in the country or whatever. Um, but with them doing that, that's taking out or away the the culture um of of so you know you go to rome and you're there with a bunch of rome uh yeah and even in sicily yeah 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 hmm yeah oh yeah yeah ortesia yeah yeah, so this is a real problem. I mean, I don't see it here yet. Although Philadelphia, we have more Airbnbs and things like that, but we're still pretty much a neighborhood city. And but I could definitely see it happening in you know the downtown historic area. You know, um, so it's a problem. Yeah. 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 So, 
the, some of the, the uh, master ceremonies was this guy, fascinating guy. He was in his 80s. He was trained. He was a lawyer, uh, but he had been the uh, president of the European Association for many years. And uh, he was very interesting and charming. Yeah. <laughs> Eduardo D'Amico. So you can go ahead. So then during the convention, like I said, we were there for uh, five days um, and they had tours as well during the convention. We never stopped. Um, and some of those tours were tours of both Syracuse and Ortizia. Uh, Nina and I did the Ortizia part. Um, and then of course we did the goldsmith shop where we spent some money. Um, the Jewish Bass Papyrus Museum. I never knew papyrus grew in Sicily. I was fascinated by that whole process. I want to, you know, so whatever. Um, and um, and then, of course, we had to re revisit another puppet museum because by at this point now, I was into the puppets. Um, <laughs> um, so I just have some, again, some pictures. Uh, the Jewish Baths are right there. You had to go down. I forget how many meters you had to go down to see these Jewish baths um, that were uncovered by someone who just bought this house and she discovered a well. And then by discovering the well, she discovered these um, ancient Jewish baths. Um, another uh, Greek theater. Uh, so we can go on. So um, then this is uh, two of those places we were talking about, um, the Av Avola, Okay, that's when they stopped, the whole town stopped. It was just amazing. And um, Noto, and again, if you go to the white, if you see the white lotus, this is where the girls go shopping in Noto. <laughs> it's unbelievable uh, place. So that's, uh, the you, you're greeted there with those, the flag of Italy. And then it's just an amazing uh, cathedrals and shopping. <laughs> So, and we wound up in another opera theater that night as well. Um, so, um, so at the end, they had a gala dinner for us. It's this castle, 13th century castle on the very tip end of Ortizia. It was amazing. 300 people. You were supposed to wear um, the dress of your country if you had it. Of course, you know, what are we supposed to wear? Uh, so... But you had people there dressed um, all, you know, all different ways. Um, they had, uh, this was the food, the typical food that we had during the convention. It was uh, tapas, but they had all different kinds of uh, things that they would bring out um, every day. Some people complained about it, but Nina and I like ate it up. Um, and uh, let me see, some lasting memories. So we have seen David here, who you see David show up tonight because he knew I was going to talk about him. So, so he is there with a woman, Jane, um, uh, from Kazakhstan. Yeah. So David turned out to be, I really worried about him because we all know David, right? He's, he's a little, you know, like out there, you know, interesting. Um, he turned out to be the bell of the ball, the ambassador for Philadelphia, he was unbelievable when Nina and I would, and Nina and I and Karen, you know, pretty much hung out together. And when we would introduce ourselves as, yeah, we're from Philadelphia, they would say, oh, you're with David, you know, I like, yeah, yeah we're with David. So he, he, I, he got to know everyone. He was every woman. Well, there was mostly women. I will say it was pri primarily women. Um, but he has invitations to Ireland, Kazakhstan, um, uh, Sweden. Yeah, I mean, you name it. So, um, yeah, he he was very much, it, he spent every moment soaking all this in. It was really, it was really good. Um, so on the final day of the conference, they announced um, where the next conference is going to be. And it's going to be in Japan. So while we were there, that was another part of the conference. Um, there were four countries. They had whittled it down. The, the, National, the World Federation had whittled it down to four countries that had put bids in to help host 
the next world conference. And it was Ireland, um, help me out here, Nina, uh, Japan, um, Indonesia, Philippines, and Malaysia, Malaysia, right? So, um, so it really came down to Ireland and Japan. There was a tie, they had to do another vote, you know, so Japan won. Um, so it's going to be there um, in, uh, I think it's February of 2026. So, um, yeah, who's, yeah, I mean, I, that, so I, I don't know if we have any more slides. Do we have any more slides? Oh, oh yeah, I'm sorry, post tour. I'll, I'll talk a little bit about that in a minute. Uh, post tour then, uh, we went out and started heading west. They took us to this place where they made um, chocolate. It was amazing. And <laughs> Modica, Modica, yes. And you can do the next slide. Um, and then we did, uh, it was like temple and a lot of temples, a lot of Greek temples. What I did not know is that Sicily has more Greek ruins than Greece, okay? Uh, so it was a lot of temples. Um, this place, the Casa Romano, that, that this was an ancient Roman uh, uh, home, but it was gigantic and there were so many mosaics. It was, it's just, you know, pictures just can't do it justice. It's just, it, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, Nina bought a book and even that. Um, so then here we have uh, Michelangelo, our guide. What a guy, what a name, right, for a, a guide. Um, and he's taken us through more of the uh, temples. There's a place called the um, the Valley of the Temples that we went to. The one one night we showed up that you saw that one, it was dark and it all lit up. It was breathtaking and a full moon, right? And then this was our last uh, day, literally in Palermo. We made our way to Palermo. Uh, this was a Byzantine cathedral that I um, willed myself to get up the last 100 steps when I knew my knee was in bad shape and it, I didn't fare too well there, but I did manage to get on the plane to come home. So, <laughs> and, and uh, going over the uh, Alps. So it was um, an amazing, these, these conferences, it's, it's all about networking, meeting people, um, we, we got to know so many people and enjoyed so much. And the, the price for what we got, I have, I have to talk about this because I actually went home and, and added it all up. So with our flight, with our Lyft driver, because the day that we were supposed to leave out of 30th Street, the rails were icy. So we had to get my Lyft driver to take us all the way to Newark. Um, <laughs> Um, the conference, everything was paid for except for three dinners. That's all we paid for. All of our entrance fees, um, all of the tour guides, um, the hotel, um, everything. So guess how much it costs? 11 days. Oh, and the buses. Remember these big, you know, buses taking us everywhere. So um, it was $3,200. <laughs> You just can't do that. I just, I'm, I'm part of the Williamsburg Foundation and they're starting to run tours, uh, historic, his, history tours. And of course they're going to be the creme de la creme too. Um, but they have an eight day to Sicily and for, uh, it's 17,500. 17, <laughs> so I'm like, wow, we got a deal. So, and you were with, you know, these wonderful tour guides uh, leading you through. So even though I'm not too keen on Japan, you're, we're never going to have an opportunity like that again. Um, and Japan, it was it was run by Italians, this one. So, <laughs> you know, there were a lot of things we had to be patient about. They changed their plans. They changed the workshops. They changed our hotel while we were there. OK, so that's not going to happen in Japan. OK, so um, so anyway, it's definitely something to start saving for and thinking about um, because it's a it's an unbelievable experience. OK, so. Yeah. Oh, OK. Okay. 
Yes, uh, yes. Okay. We're just going to see if anyone wants questions. So there's still people on Zoom. Anybody on Zoom have questions? No questions. No more questions. The next APT meeting is the second Wednesday in April, <laughs> just like it always is. Do you want to talk, Mike, who's going to come here in April? Just come and say briefly who the April speaker is. What, uh, what is the second Wednesday of April? What is the second Wednesday of April? I don't need this, right? Zoom's done. Oh, okay. It'll be uh, Amy Cohen, who Josh Silver uh, recommended. Amy's uh, finished a book recently on the Black history in the Philadelphia landscape, and she's currently on tour throughout Philadelphia. You may know her from um, from Philadelphia History World. Yeah, yeah. Where is she? Hidden City. The Hidden City is a group I was thinking of. Also, I'm familiar with her from Hidden City. So she'll be our speaker finally in April. Uh, we originally invited her last summer and again for February and things worked out. Uh, she's very popular and she's bringing guests also. So we expect a large, a large crowd. So come early, eat early, and we'll see you in April. May is George Leone from Navy... 250 Marines 250 to bring us up to speed on the upcoming uh, special anniversary of the United States Navy and the United States Marine Corps founded right here in Philadelphia. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Zoom people.